right, folks, we're back with Guns of the African Bush War, and a lot of you guys say, no, that's an AR-15, that's an M16. Looks like an M16A1. Actually, this is an XM16 Echo 1. This is the precursor to the A1. All right, this is the XM model. Very similar to the A1, they made a few changes to the gun when it became the M16A1. Now in Africa, the Rhodesian Bush War kicked off officially, according to historical records, 1964 went all the way to 1979. What was the United States doing during that time? Well, 64, 65, 6, 7, 8, 9, we're in Vietnam in Southeast Asia. Started out with the M14, very soon after we switched over to, well, first we had the XM16 to try it out, the experimental model. Then we adopted the M16A1. But we were in and out of Vietnam, and the Bush War was still going on. It should not be surprising to you that when the United States left Vietnam, that a lot of these got left behind, lost, stolen, given to our allies, and then sold. The Colt AR-15 became very famous in the 1970s going into the 80s, and they ended up in Africa. Now, I know there are some doubting Thomases out there in my audience who are saying, no, in Africa there's AKs and there's R1s, and if it's not an R1 or an AK, it wasn't in Africa. Nah. You're actually incorrect, and I'm going to prove it to you. Thank you very much. All right, I've got my list because I didn't want to miss any. All right, the, X, the M16 slash AR-15 was used in conflicts on the continent of Africa in the Central African Republic, the Congo, Gabon, the Ivory Coast, Kenya, Lethoso, Liberia, Morocco, still in Africa, Senegal, Sierra Leone, South Africa, Uganda, and Rhodesia in the very later parts or the latter stages of the Rhodesian Bush War. Thank you very much, producer man. So, uh, what was attractive about the AR-15, M16, XM16? What was attractive about this platform? Well, a lot of aluminum. Gene Stoner wasn't a fool. A lot of uh, aircraft grade aluminum and high strength polymer. What does that mean? It means the gun's relatively lightweight. It's about two pounds, maybe a little more than two pounds, lighter than a normal 308 7.62 battle rifle. The 30 round magazine. Originally, the magazines for this gun were what? What do we know? 20 round mags, right? But by the early 1970s, we started fielding the 30 round versions. So it would be perfectly historically accurate to in the African Bush War to see 30 round magazines and 20 round magazines. Obviously I'm wearing a bandolier here and the great thing about the M16 bandoliers is that you can, well you can pull magazines out really easy. Uh, they fit a 20 round magazine perfectly. Of course the ammunition was delivered to the GIs in 10 round stripper clips. There you go, so you can quickly load your thing. I'm not gonna try and put it back in there. Uh, and then I've got on my belt here, I've got original Vietnam era mag pouches. And you say, well, those look like 20 round mag pouches. What these actually are, and I'll display them for you, is these are actually M14 pouches. When we first adopted, when they issued the M16, especially as an experimental model. They did not have 30 round magazines yet. They didn't have 30 round magazine pouches yet. So what did they give the Marines and the soldiers? They gave them 20 round mag pouches and you could fit three or four 20 rounders shoved into there. So uh, they had to put a rag or a bandage or something at the bottom so they could get them easily. And of course you could put a 308, 7.62, a couple magazines in here, whether an R1 or an M14 
or a G3 or what have you. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, yes indeed, the AR-15, if you do your historical research, AR-15s, M-16s did indeed find their way to Africa. They were used all over the continent, from the north to the south, to the east and the west. Uh, maybe not as famous, you know, in African folklore as the AK, maybe not as famous as the R1, but still, the AR-15, M-16, was indeed one of the guns of the African Bush War. Hi, thanks for watching the video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Now I would like to personally invite you to join us at GetSOTG.com. If you sign up today, you'll never miss another article, radio show, or video. That's GetSOTG.com. Thanks a lot.